In this screencast, I'm going to show you how we can handle data that have missing values, represented by the NAN uh, value. There are useful functions in MATLAB to calculate the mean, the sum, the standard deviations, uh, where we have missing values. And then I'm going to show you how we can detect missing values in vectors and matrices. So suppose we have a vector age, again, where we have the ages of various people, but now the third person and the sixth person has an NAN value, so a missing value. This could be because a person did not enter an age, there is some problem recording the data. Uh, in most real-world situations, we have to deal with uh, missing data. If we use a standard function like the mean, and I calculate the mean of age, I get a NAN result. Similarly, if I try to sum the values, I again get a uh, NAN result. And this is not a desirable result. I simply want to calculate the mean or the sum of these values where we ignore the not a number uh, value. Now one solution might be to simply delete the third and the sixth element from this vector and then to redo the calculation on this smaller vector. But it's a bad idea to change the structure or variables to handle missing data. Instead we want to simply ignore uh, the missing data. So there are specific MATLAB functions designed to handle missing data. So I'm pulling up the MATLAB documentation and there are functions typically preceded by NEN that handle missing data. You can calculate the mean, the median, uh, the minimum standard deviation, the sum, etc. So for example, if I type in NAN mean, now I get the result that I intended. I can also use NAN sum, and I get uh, now the sum of these numbers while ignoring the NAN value. There's also another useful function, is NAN, and this gives the, this returns a logical variable uh, with one values of the elements that have corresponding NAN values. And this is useful if I want to count the number of missing values in my data. So if I sum, simply sum uh, the values in this matrix, I get the result 2, and that corresponds to the number of NEN values here. 